Bradforth and I'm delighted to be joining you for Bradford Cathedral's Eco Extravaganza this year. I hope you're enjoying it. There's so much on, isn't there? I'm going to show you how to make a ladybird house to look after the ladybirds in your garden or near your home so that they can spend the winter safe and snug. I'm sure you're aware that all our insects are having a lot of problems with the loss of habitat and maybe loss of food, but we can do our bit to look after them. This is a really simple project, I hope you're going to like it. You're going to need half of a bottle, this one was from some water but it could be from any uh, drink. Um, if you don't use such things yourself I'm sure you've got somebody who could give you one. If you don't normally use sharp knives, you might need an adult to help you cut it in half. And it's very important you leave the top on. You're going to need some cardboard. Okay, so this is corrugated cardboard off packaging. And I've cut four strips. Each one is about 40 centimeters by 10 centimeters, but it doesn't matter if it's not exact. I've also got some ribbon. I'm going to use this to hang it up. You could use string or wire just as easily. A rubber band. Some wire. This is just gardening wire. Again, string would work just as well, but I've got wire, it's gonna be easier for me to work with, so I've got some wire cutters as well. I've also got um, pen knife so that I can make little holes in my bottle. Um, you could probably use a drawing pin as well for this. Again, you might need an adult to help. So let's get started. So the idea is that our ladybirds need somewhere to hide and stay warm over the winter. They're gonna need lots of holes somewhere snug. And cardboard is really good at keeping things warm. If you hold it, it feels warm to the touch. Well, that's what we want to keep our ladybirds warm. I'm going to start by rolling one piece of cardboard in quite a tight tube. And the idea is that that's going to fill the bottle. Well, it's not big enough yet, so I definitely need a second one. So I'm just going to wrap that one around first. It can be a bit difficult to get them started off. You have to press quite hard, but it will work. Let's see if that one's big enough. Nope, still not big enough. Let's get number three on the way. Ooh, that might just fit. Just want to show you, if I can show you, all the little nooks and crannies where the ladybirds are going to be able to hide over the winter. I think I'm going to need one more bit. Let's see. That's going to be too much now, isn't it? So I'm going to just use those three strips and put it in. Because that's actually quite snug. So there it is, all nicely inside the bottle. Now it might fall out because we're going to end up hanging this upside down. So this is where we're going to use the wire just to put across the middle and make sure that that cardboard stays nicely in. So I'm going to use um, my pen knife just to put one hole, wiggle it around to make it big, and then looking across I want my other hole pretty much opposite. There we go, just about two centimetres from the edge of the bottle. Then I'll need a length of wire. So I need it a bit wider than the bottle so that I've got some room to stop the wire falling out. Just snip that off and I'm going to put one bit in like that. And then I'm just going to mould it so that it holds in place and then just thread it through on the other side. Now that's, that's quite snug, nothing's going to get out of there. 
So that's the ladybird house done. The plastic obviously keeps it nice and dry and the cardboard provides the space for the ladybirds to live. Now all we need to do is find a way of hanging it up because it will need to hang up um, on a tree or a bush near you. Um, it could be low to the ground or it could be up to about uh, a metre and a half above the ground. And I'm just going to make a loop with this ribbon. So, what I'm going to do, just cut that down to size. If you know you've got a very thick branch to hang it over, you might need a longer loop. And then what I'm going to do is tie a knot in each end, just so that the ribbon holds on nicely onto the bottle. ladybirds which are of course very beautiful creatures but they're also very good for humans because they eat lots of aphids that eat the food that we want to eat. So there's my ribbon with the knot on each end and then I've got a rubber band so that I can just hold that in place. If you're very good at tying knots I'm sure you can work out how to do it without using a rubber band but I think I'm more confident using a rubber band. I'm just going to wrap that over a few times, pull the ribbon out, and that's done. So that can now hang up safely, preferably somewhere sheltered where it's not going to be too windy, they don't want to be blown around too much, and that would make a lovely home for ladybirds. If you felt creative, of course, you could also um, decorate the cardboard nicely before you hung it up. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy the rest of the eco extravaganza. Thanks for watching!